Hey guys, uh, welcome to Installs and Pitfalls. Today we're going to be installing a receiver hitch for our Super Duty Ford. This will work on other trucks or SUVs as well. Um, so we're just going to do a quick unboxing and then assemble it and put it on the truck. Okay guys, so we bought a XPE brand um, hitch for our receiver. It's uh, a two and a half inch shaft with a eight inch drop the kit comes really nice it's got like a little customer support sheet with a thank you in it a pin that is keyed to secure it uh, to the truck so nobody steals it it comes with the dual these look like they're uh, cadmium plated pins for keeping the ball into the receiver um, it's got anti-rattle little spacers here for whenever it's installed get this out of the way and now you get to see your your hitch and your ball so this hitch is pretty heavy I think the the weight of this box was like 39 pounds so it's no joke so this is really, really nice. The welds look great. The finish looks great. I mean, it really, really looks nice. Um, and so I'm just going to go ahead and slide this in there so I don't have to keep moving it around. Okay, next we're going to pull out is our dual ball assembly. <coughs> It is also cadmium plated as well, it looks like, for corrosion resistance. It has a 2 inch welded ball on one side, it's 15,000 pounds. And the 2 and 5 16 ball is rated for 22,000 pounds. It also has these really nice rubber bumpers, I guess they're anti rattle as well. Yeah, so normally. Um, depending on how deep your receiver goes to get these hitch line uh, holes lined up whenever you get to a spot depending on the depth you can use these anti-rattle spacers in there ours is too far out to use these so I bought a anti-rattle clamp that's going to go on the outside of this and lock lock this down um, but we'll install that afterwards but normally you would put your receiver in here figure out the depth that you want for your shim pack or anti-rattle pack whatever you want to call it and then install those so that this would help um, keep it from jumping around too much okay so if you use your shim pack you'll already have those installed here but um, what's really cool about this new lock pin that comes with it, I don't know if you've had other ones that secure it into here instead of just using a, a bent pin that has the cotter key. Just slide this through. And on these, different from others that I've had, you can actually have the key out and that'll be in the lock position. And you can just slide that on and put the dust cover on instead of having to have the key turned a certain way to get it to push in and lock like some others that I've had. So that's a nice feature. Next thing we're going to install is our double ball mount. And then just choose the height that you would like. Line up the holes. Push them through. And install your pin. So this is jumping around a lot. We're going to put that clamp on here. But as far as like the installation of this goes, this is really easy. 
should be able to just adjust your height or size ball. You can go lower or higher. Um, you know, adjust it up and down. You can also flip this over if you need a really high mount for some reason. Um, it'll work up and down that way as well. Yeah. These holes are one inch centers. So like I said, this is a an eight inch drop. We've got uh, different trailers that we use. And so we need two inch or we also need the five sixteenths. So this should fit all of our needs. All right. So that's good. We're going to go ahead and put the anti-rattle clamp up here on top now. Okay, guys. So we went ahead and bought a trailer hitch tightener. It's a ot match. These things you can buy them um, anywhere through Amazon or at your local hardware store or something. But basically, what this does, this slides down over this receiver here. Has a plate that bolts up underneath it, and it keeps it tight and keeps it from rattling. So we're going to go ahead and install that now. So you've got to take all your hardware off first off. These first ones, they've got nylon locks in them, so they won't back out. And these nuts are a three quarter or 19 millimeter. Either one will work. Okay guys, so we tried to install this and I guess I didn't think far enough ahead because this has a gusset here on this back part. A welded gusset that goes pretty far back. Um, so to have it this close, that's not going to let this work. So I think what we're going to do just for the video, I don't know if I'll keep it like this or I'll keep searching for something different, but we're going to go ahead and pull this pin out, slide the receiver back to the second hole, and then that'll give us enough room to put this anti-rattle clamp on. <clears throat> And then we'll we'll decide what to do later on. Um, I don't want it bouncing around. Um, it's just noisy and annoying. Um, and so it's probably rougher on the truck as well and the trailer. So we're going to go ahead and um, unlock the pin, slide this back out, and try and install this again. That's why we call it installs and pitfalls. You really never know until you get into it what you're going to run into. Okay, so second hole. That should work. So you want to put your flat washer on first, free running nut. Repeat that on the second side. You just want to sn snug these up where it's touching. Same all the way across. So I'm going to go ahead and run those down just a little bit. Oh, 
Okay, so I'm using an electric ratchet, but you can just use a ratchet with a, a socket. And again, it's a 19 millimeter or a three quarter inch. Either one work. All right, that seems really solid. I'm gonna go ahead and put our lock washer with our nut that has the nylon locking feature. Okay, so we've got both sides started. And we're just going to run them on up. We'll get both of those in and it's really really solid okay guys well uh, thanks for watching um, we'll have more information coming out more videos um, these are the hammer locks that we installed to put our safety chains on. Um, we've got a video on this. Angela did that install. And um, check out our other videos. Thanks for watching as always. Like, share, and subscribe.